Okay, so this video is just going to serve as a quick tutorial of trigonometry um, with special angles. So first, let's define well, what are special angles. And as far as we're concerned, um, special angles are, of course, 90 degrees. Uh, we would also say zero degrees. We would also say 30 degrees, 45 and last but not least, uh, we'll say 60 degrees, okay? Any other angles are considered non-special angle. And then, so these are the quadrant one uh, special angles. So there's other special angles besides these, right? But we'll get into that later. As far as we're concerned, uh, the main special angles are these guys here, okay? Because these are the ones that are possible on right triangles. Well, you can have a 90 degree angle on a right triangle, but you can only have one. Okay, so that said, um, let's look at some examples. So we've already been working on a few of these uh, in the previous lesson. Um, but again, let's go ahead and just see some quick work examples. So obviously 30 is a special angle, right? And of course, if we just add and subtract from 180, we know this missing angle here is 60 degrees, also a special angle, right? So I'm going to find, let's say, A first. Okay, so I'm going to find A first. And I'm going to use uh, this 30 degree angle here. Right? Well, A is opposite of the 30 degree angle. So that means if we go by Sokotoa, that of course means we're going to say sine is what we're going to want to use of 30 degrees uh, is equal to opposites over hypotenuse. Oh, and here we see a perfect example, right, of why we can't do that, right? So I always tell you guys this is um, a matter of preference, right? But it has to actually work. So sign there is not going to work, okay? So we're going to use tangents, okay, because that will work, okay? We're not going to have two unknowns like what we just saw a second ago, right? So when we set it up with sign, we had two unknowns. And for all intents and purposes, uh, that is impossible. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and use tangent like I was planning on doing. Uh, we're going to say tangent 30 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Right, and that, of course, is going to be A over 8. Tangent of 30 is equal to the square root of 3 over 3. From there, we just cross multiply. So 8 times the square root of 3, that's 8 square root of 3. Uh, 3 times A is equal to 3A. Divide by 3 on both sides, and we get 8 over 3, or 8 thirds square root of 3 is our missing side A, which is approximately, I need a calculator for that, um, 8 over 3 square root of 3. That would be um, about, whoops. I forgot to actually multiply them. That would be about 4.62. So this missing side A here, this missing side A here is about, uh, what do you call it? 4.62. Okay, and of course, we want to use the uh, exact radical expression first. So 8 thirds times the square root of 3, which is approximately uh, 4.62. Okay, let's look at another example. So I could definitely also find um, the missing hypotenuse there. We could use the Pythagorean theorem if you want, but these are really ugly numbers to try and use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead is just use cosine. Okay, and I can do that because cosine of this same 30 degree angle here uh, is equal to adjacent, right? This would be my adjacent leg, the eight over the hypotenuse that we're trying to find, okay, which is unknown C. And cosine of 30, of course, is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply again. 2 times 8 is 16. Square root of 3 times C is square root of 3C. Divide by the square root of 3 on both sides. Okay, and we have an irrational denominator that we've got to take care of. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the irrational denominator. 
Uh, that, of course, is going to give me 16 square root of 3 over 3, or uh, simply 16 thirds times the square root of 3. Okay, so that comes out to about 9.24. So our missing hypotenuse is precisely 16 thirds times the square root of 3, which is approximately um, 9.24. Okay, look at another example here. Erase and give myself some room. Okay, so here we see this missing angle, of course, is going to be equal to 45 degrees. Right, and I only need to find, because of that, I only need to find one of these missing legs because it's obviously isosceles. Right, and I'm going to find X uh, because why not? And I'm going to find X by doing... Uh, the sine of that top 45 degree angle. So that means I'm going to say sine of 45 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Right? This is obviously my hypotenuse. This, of course, is my opposite leg from the 45 degree angle that I'm using here. Okay, and the sine of 45, if we check our table, of course, is square root of 2 over 2. I am therefore going to cross multiply. So square root of two times nine square root of three, well that's just nine square root of six, is equal to two x, divide by two on both sides and we get 4.5 square root of six uh, is my missing leg, which is approximately 4.5 square root of six, 11.02. Uh, Okay, and of course, that means y is the exact same thing, 4.5 square root of 6, which is approximately 11.02. Okay, so here's a few more examples um, using special uh, angles. Okay, so right here, let's say we want to find um, QP first, right? Well, QP is the adjacent leg to this angle here that I'm using. And by the way, this other angle obviously is going to be 30 degrees when we add and subtract from 180. Okay, so I'm going to set it up. Tangent of 60 degrees is equal to opposite leg over uh, adjacent leg. Right? And tangent 60, of course, is equal to the square root of 3. And for the sake of using proportionality, we're going to set that up uh, over 1. Okay, so cross multiply, I get square root of 3 uh, times segment QP that's missing. Uh, 1 times 47, of course, 47. And we're just going to divide by the square root of 3. And we end up with 47 over the square root of 3. We have an irrational denominator, so we're going to multiply top and bottom. Uh, by our irrational denominator, that gives me 47 over 3 times the square root of 3. Okay, so that is my missing uh, short leg on this right triangle here. So I'm simply going to say 47 thirds square root of 3 is what QP is precisely equal to. And what it's approximately equal to uh, is, let's see, 47 over 3 multiplied by the square root of 3, 27.14. Okay, so now let's do another one. Now let's find the missing hypotenuse. Okay, so we're looking for QR. Right, and of course, we can easily find that um, by just doing sine. We can say sine of 60, but just for funsies, I'm going to use this other angle just to prove that we can. I'm going to use cosine of this 30-degree angle here. Right, so cosine of 30 degrees is equal to adjacent over our unknown hypotenuse of QR. And cosine of 30 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Multiply both sides, uh, not multiply both sides, but go ahead and cross multiply on both sides, right? And of course, we're going to get uh, 
square root of 3 times segment QR is equal to 94, because that's what 2 times 47 would be. Okay, we're going to divide by the square root of 3. And after we go ahead and rationalize the denominator, because that's what would happen, uh, we end up with this for the length of QR. So QR is precisely equal to 94 thirds times the square root of 3, which is approximately, I have no idea, 94 over, oops, over 3 times the square root of 3. That gives me 54.27. Okay. One last example with special angles. And again, we see we have a 45, 45, 90. So that means this other missing theta here, this missing angle, is going to also be 45 degrees. Okay, and that leaves us to just find... Um, one of the missing legs, right? Because we only need to know one, it's isosceles. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, cosine. So cosine 45 is equal to adjacent, which would be unknown AC, over hypotenuse, which is 58. Cosine ratio of a 45 degree angle is the square root of two over two. We then just cross multiply now. So we have 58 square root of 2 is equal to 2 times AC. Divide by 2 on both sides. That's going to give me 27 uh, square root of 2 is equal to my missing uh, segment AC. Which of course means... This leg right here, AC... Is precisely equal to 27 times the square root of 2, which is approximately, again, no idea, 38.18. Okay, and because this is a one-to-one -one right triangle, that means that both legs are the same. So that means BC, this other leg here, um, is also equal to 27, well, 27 square root of 2, and is also approximately 38.18. Okay, so that's all that I have uh, for this video. Um, obviously, like always, send me an email or come and see me in person if you need anything. Goodbye.